This is Life Balance. Here's your host, Clay Nelson. Hey, hi, I'm Clay Nelson. You're listening to Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour on KZSB AM 1290. Now, today's show is going to be a little bit different. Usually, I don't tie two shows together, but I've had so many emails and so many phone calls and so much feedback on the show, last week's show around health and how to get healthy um, that I thought I'd do an extension on that show. Also, uh, there's been some questions as to you know, how you can stay healthy, what has to be done, does age matter? What do you do if you have kids? I've had so many emails and so many phone calls from moms, stay-at-home moms that have children, that have great husbands that who work, who have two or three kids, who have gotten to a place where they just want to get healthier. And uh, what I've noticed is, is it's not so much about the weight you lose. It's about the commitment you have to the health that's missing. So it's all about the mindset. So this show is going to be it's going to be called Healthy Living Part 2: The Power of Mental Calisthenics. You know, it's all about um, really being able to mentally say, "I have worth. I need to be healthier. I have responsibilities to live up to those responsibilities and to live up and have a life that I love. I have to take care of myself. I have to put me first. I have to take care of me." So today's show is all about not so much just getting into shape. You know, it's like when you say get into shape or when you talk about staying in shape, right, Susie? You know, you know, you know, the buff guy you're married to. Woo. Yeah. Anyway, staying in shape. You're talking about exercise. I mean, yeah, that's what you think about. Usually you talk about eating right, giving up certain foods, eating more fruits and vegetables. And I got to tell you, if I eat one more pear, I'm going to throw up because the bag of Cheetos is sitting next to where the pears are. You know what I mean? So it's really hard to do. You know, the commitment necessary to live a healthy life ain't easy. If it was easy, we'd all be healthy. And all these diet foods and all these gyms and all these places that, you know, are designed or, you know, or or they're sold to you like you come and you do what I say and you'll be healthy. You know, if you were already getting healthy, if you already had a good mindset, you wouldn't need all those places. All right. Now, next, uh, What I want to make sure you understand is that if getting healthy was easy and you could do it by yourself, gee, guess what? Everybody be healthy. You know what I mean? I mean, American kids are starting to be obese. Americans, for the most part, are obese. All right. I used to be obese. And I got to tell you, it's it's shall we say easy to get there, hard to get rid of and no fun when you're there. I don't care how cool you think you are when you're 50, 60, 70, 100 pounds overweight. When you're standing in the shower by yourself thinking about how your life is, how you look, how you feel, and whether you're going to drop the soap or not, okay, it ain't fun. I don't care how much you laugh and how much you tell everybody your life is just wonderful. When you get in your by yourself time, you don't like you. Being overweight, being out of shape is no fun. So this show is going to address... The mindset, the mental calisthenics are what we have to do to keep our minds clear so we can keep our bodies healthy. Now, if you want to call in, uh, the telephone number long distance, or if you're streaming on the website, you can call in at 805, uh, pardon me, 866-564-1290. Or if you're calling locally, uh, you can do just 564-1290. Or you can do like many other people already are doing. There's cheeses, all kinds of emails coming in already. They're already coming in. Yeah, it says clay at media sb.com. That's clay at media, M E D I A S B dot com. All right. So you can do it that way. Now, also, I have a personal planning workshop coming up on September 15th, 16th in santa barbara and the personal planning is all about getting yourself to a place where you choose to have the life you want i mean duh let's not make it hard it's real simple it's a two-day workshop and let me tell you we get it on and we talk about what you need where you are what your commitment is what is missing in your commitment what's in the way how to get there how to communicate how to ask for help how to put a plan together and how to live the plan so you get what you want. That's what the the workshop's all about. I've been doing it for how many years, honey? Uh, 15, 16 years have some- About that long. (laughs) Six or 7,000 people have gone through the workshop and nobody has died yet. What do you think of that? We've had a little bit of experience. Yeah, so, you know, (laughs) it's it's just a way to 
really get clear about what's missing in your life, how to choose to take on and get what's missing in your life, and then how to keep it, and then how from, you know, keeping it is all about giving it away. I know that sounds crazy, but the, the giving away part I'm talking about is whatever you teach, you get better at. So it's all about the giving away part is teach what I teach you in that workshop, teach it to others. So that's another thing I want to say. If you're listening on the radio today and you're listening to me and you're going, I don't need this. I'm already healthy. I'm in good shape. I'm the way I'm supposed to be. I get the exercise I want. Would you please start telling people how to do it? Would you please let people know that it's okay to do? It's fun to do. And uh, guess what? You can make a difference. Just by being who you are, you wouldn't have to change. What do you think about that, ladies and gentlemen? Okay? So it's like um, if you eat right and you exercise, and you exercise and eat right to live healthy and to live a healthy and balanced life, you know, the one gift you have for all of mankind and womankind is to teach others how to do that. Now think about that now. If, if life is all about balance and the balance between one's body and one's mind— OK, and if your if your mind is out of whack so that your body's out of whack or if your body's out of whack to create your mind being out of whack, uh, gee, guess who has to change the imbalance? Somebody else? I don't think so. It has to be you. So you have to choose to have balance between your physical well-being and your mental well-being. So how do we do that? Last week was all about physical well-being, which we'll talk about when I come back after this break. Just a real quick synopsis of last week's show. And then uh, we're going to go into mental well-being. How do we take care of ourselves? How do we commit? How do you commit without knowing how? How do you commit when your hand's in a bag of Oreos? I mean, it's really difficult to pull your hand out of the bag of Oreos. How about this? Go to the track. And you go to the track, and it's 6 o'clock in the morning, and it's dark. And there's, you know there's a track out there as you walk around because there's a round, rubbery area underneath your feet. <laughs> but you have to know how far to walk. You have to know how to stretch. You have to make sure that you don't hurt yourself because if you hurt yourself, guess what you'll do? You'll go. Your body will go. See, I told you. Now go sit down and stop that exercise stuff. And by the way, here's an apple fritter just to take care of your pain. By the way, notice I know all the good stuff. Apple fritters, Oreos, chocolate donuts, chocolate cake, lemon meringue pie. Mm. Get you. Yeah, guess how I know about all that stuff, okay? I mean, for 38 years, I was more than 100 pounds overweight, and I paid my dues. And I had to have been told by a doc that said, hey, you're going to die early, and it's going to be ugly. It's going to be from diabetes. It's going to be from possibly some form of colon cancer or stomach cancer. And um, pretty soon your knees are going to give out and your hips aren't going to support your weight. Boy, what a future to live into there, huh? But that's what it took to get me to change who I was being. Oh, and one other thing real quick before I have to go on a break. Uh, I probably got 30 phone calls wanting to know if my diabetes has gotten handled out of my weight loss and my exercise program. The answer is yes. I don't have a diabetes problem anymore. Uh, I'm checked every six months. Everything seems to be okay. I had type 2 diabetes, not type 1, so I eliminated the problem by losing weight and exercise. Losing and weight. And right diet. Oh, pardon me. And Susan forcing me to eat the right stuff. No, thank you, Susan, for doing you're, that. You're welcome. Uh, no, but so it's all about eating right. It's all about good exercise program. It's all about balance in your life. Now, I've got to go on a break. When we come back, I'm going to talk about a little bit about last week's show and then really start getting into what this, this week's show is all about, and that's the mental calisthenics you got to do to keep the physical calisthenics going. So you listen to Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour on KZSB AM 1290. Get on back here. Street at sunrise one morning in London.